hi everyone so welcome to this video where i'm going to teach you everything about computer components including the symbol the function how to test it etc so please pay attention and be careful because if you watch this video until the end I guarantee for you that you will understand everything about laptop motherboard components. So let's get started. So basically, I made this video because the majority of my followers are beginners and they always request from me to explain deeply all about components. So let's get started. So we're gonna begin here with this as you can see component this is basically smd resistor we called it smd so smd means surface mounted device as you can see this is surface mounted device this component are soldered directly to the motherboard it's not a true whole technology device like uh, transistors and mosfets this is the symbol for the transistor basically the, or the resistor basically we use this resistor to limit the current in order to avoid burned out other components so let's see the second component so the capacitor as you can see here we have smd capacitor so for this kind of capacitor it is polarized as you can see we have here plus and minus here as you can see this is minus the negative terminal and over here we have the positive terminal okay so this kind of capacitor is used for filtering purposes in order to filter the current and get a pure voltage okay so of course we will find this kind of capacitor everywhere in the motherboard in every circuit you will find this kind of capacitor so let's see the next component so here we have another capacitor that is basically it's not all technicians that know about this capacitor this is basically tantalum capacitor also this capacitor is polarized capacitor as you can see here we have plus and minus this bar here means here we have plus or do positive terminal and over here we have the negative terminal as you can see so this one also is used to filter the current you can find this one in the power rail of any circuit in the motherboard so the next component so we have ceramic capacitors this is basically a very important component that also you can find everywhere in the motherboard this is basically and not polarized capacitor as you can see here we don't have plus or minus this is not polarized so basically this kind of components are used to eliminate the noise in the circuit okay also for filtering purposes okay and of course the, if you want to test or to check using the multimeter this kind of component you should put the multimeter to the buzzer option and if you get a low resistance or buzzer means this component is bad okay so let's see the next component so basically you have the winding inductor okay so the inductor so basically this kind of inductor as you can see we find it basically into computer motherboard not into laptop motherboard and of course this inductor has as a purpose to adjust the current and to increase it in the circuit okay so we have this component also as you can see here we have a thin film inductor you can find also this inductor this is basically smd inductor not like the previous inductor the previous inductor is a THT inductor or true whole technology inductor but this one is SMD inductor the same working principle of course this inductor you will find it in every circuit this is basically the symbol for inductor to check it or to test it using the multimeter of course you should get a continuity 
okay you should get a continuity in the multimeter if you didn't get anything in the multimeter because means this inductor is damaged so let's see the next component here basically we have sm diffuse okay sm diffuse here basically we have diffuse this is the symbol for diffuse this kind of component is used for protection it protects the circuit from high voltage and high current you will find always this fuse in the input of every circuit especially in the uh, input near to the power jack or to this dc jack in order to protect the motherboard from high current or high voltage of course you can find also this as you can see this is a fuse resistor we have here zero if you check this with the multimeter you will get a very low resistance zero ohm in the multimeter okay so let's check the next component so we have the smd zener diode so this this is basically a diode but it's not a normal diode this is a zener diode here we have the symbol for the zener diode here we have the cathode and over here we have the anode so this is the cathode this line here means we have the cathode here or the negative terminal and over here we have the positive terminal or the anode so to check this zener diode using the multimeter you should put the black probe of the multimeter here in the cathode also here and the positive terminal here in the anode as you can see and then you should get a reading a drop voltage about 700 500 400 okay and of course if you swap the props you have to get anything in the multimeter it means the diode is good but if you get a very low resistance or a buzzer means the diode is shorted okay so this kind of diode is used basically to stabilize the current in the circuit so let's see the next component so we have push button switch this is of course easy this is just a push button okay as you can see here we have two connectors here and we have the push part okay this is push button of course let's see the next component here we have ECMD diode this is basically a normal diode it's like the Zener diode you can use the same working principle as the Zener diode to test it and to check it using the multimeter of course here we have the anode and the cathode always the anode is the positive terminal and the cathode is the negative terminal for the cathode you will find a line over here okay means the cathode okay of course this kind of diodes also use it for protection purposes to, to use it as a protection component you should connect this part the cathode with the high power or with the power rail of the circuit in order to use it as a protection component and to anode to the ground so the cathode with the high path and anode with the ground okay so let's see the next component so we have MOSFET so here we have one of the most important components that you can find in every motherboard okay the MOSFET so the MOSFET or voltage regulator we call it MOSFET voltage regulator or switch or of course sometimes we call it MOSFET transistor because it has the same about the same working principle as the transistor so for this kind of MOSFET you will find always four pins for drain three pins for source and the fourth pin is for gate as you can see here we have drain okay source and gate okay so for the drain you will find of course four pins connected together so to check if this MOSFET using the multimeter is good or not you should just here put the red probe in the drain here as you can see in the anode okay in the drain in the anode of this diode and the black probe in the source of course when as i told you before when 
this MOSFET is PNP MOSFET okay and you should get a reading but if you swap to probes you should not get anything in the multimeter okay so i hope that you understand a little bit we gonna continue in the next video with other components and of course i invite you to subscribe for more videos and please like the video and share it and for anyone who want to join me in the patreon page you are very welcome so in that page patreon page i share more content a very unique content i upload in a daily basis laptop schematics and more useful content thank you very much and see you tomorrow with another video of course we're gonna continue and see other components